Virgin here with Revzilla TV, and today I'm getting to rip around town on the KTM 390 Duke. Now we're gonna take a look at how KTM has brought their ready to race mentality to the world of the 300cc beginner motorcycle. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of advanced riders out there that are interested in this bike as well, but we're gonna take a look at it through the lens of a beginner rider. We're gonna talk about how the bike goes, how it stops, how it handles. We're also gonna talk about maintenance that you can learn how to do on your own machine, as well as some modifications that you can make to really enhance the performance of this bike. Now, before we dive into those specifics, let's address what you're really looking for out of your first bike. You want a bike that's lightweight, you want a bike that's easy to handle, and you want a bike that gives you enough power to grow into, but without having too much power to be intimidating from the get-go. So, first and foremost, you need the bike to look cool. You're a new rider, you wanna be proud of what you got. So let's take a look at the frame on this. KTM uses a trellis frame. Now, while I'm sure KTM can talk to you about how this frame is gonna improve handling and this and that, really, it looks like the same frame that you're gonna see on the 690 as well as the 1290, and that gives you a bike that just looks the part of a real motorcycle. Secondly, take a look at the tires on this. These are Pirelli Diablo Rosso 2s. That's gonna be a real sport bike tire. That's gonna be a tire that's gonna give you better handling and better grip on the street, and as a new rider, that's gonna to help to instill confidence in your riding abilities. Now, lastly, take a look at my rider position. I am gonna be straight up and down. This is gonna be a nice neutral position for a rider to learn how to ride a bike. You have nice wide handlebars. In my opinion, this is gonna be a really ideal seating position for a new rider. I can really get leverage to just throw the bike around back and forth. Now, that's not to say that the KTM doesn't have its faults. Honestly, it's gonna have a more maintenance intensive regimen than any of the other bikes in its class. Now, speaking of other manufacturers, Let's take some time, let's pull over, and let's discuss some of your other options out there for a beginner. So KTM's motto is ready to race, and that is a motto they take to heart throughout every bike in their lineup. From the smallest bike, the 50cc SX Mini, all the way up to the fire-breathing 1290 Super Duke, KTM makes no apologies about making quality machines with performance components aimed at enthusiasts. Now, one of the biggest trends that we have seen across all OEMs in the past three to five years is really a push into the beginner market. With 300, 500, and 650cc motorcycles, beginners really have more options than ever before to get themselves onto a bike. Now for the scope of this review, we're gonna focus on the 300cc class sport bikes that are really in competition with the Duke. Now when you're choosing your first bike, really you have to figure out what features are important to you as a rider. So for example, let's take a look at the R3. The R3 wears the same, almost the identical price tag as the 390 Duke, however it doesn't have ABS and it's not gonna have all the performance components like the Duke will have. One of the things it does have though is it's got full race fairings to it and its maintenance costs are gonna be significantly less than the Duke's. Now, if you want that fully fair look, you just want the same performance as the Duke, KTM has you covered with the RC390. That's gonna give you that same power and performance as the Duke with a fully faired version. So lastly, maybe you like the naked look, you just don't wanna spend the money because you're not really too worried about the performance. That's where Honda comes into play. Honda's got the CB300F. You're not gonna have the performance of the Duke, but the price tag is gonna be about $1,000 less. So that's something for you to consider. Now, one of the things that I really liked about the 390, one of the things that stood out for me was comfort. I'm six foot three, and compared to the other entry-level bikes in this class, I was much more comfortable on this bike. It might have looked a little big on it, but it actually fit me quite well. Now, there's a lot of performance parts on here that really work to set itself apart from the competition that we just discussed. So let's go out, let's hit the highway, and let's talk about and discuss exactly how the performance of the Duke sets itself apart from every other bike in this class.
So the first thing most riders want to know about when they're looking at a new motorcycle is how much power does that bike make? But honestly, as a new rider, the thing you should be really asking yourself is what type of power does the bike make? You should be looking for a bike that makes nice, even power that's not going to intimidate you, yet there should be some stuff left up top so when you crank back on the throttle as your skills progress, you can really have some fun with the bike. So that's what I like the most about the KTM 373cc single cylinder engine in this bike. You're looking at power that's going to be nice and usable, it's not going to intimidate new riders, yet there's plenty of left for me to crank back on and really have some fun with as I'm getting out and I'm playing around on this machine. Now that power is going to get transmitted to the pavement via a six-speed gearbox. That's going to be important for you new riders because it's going to allow you to get out comfortably on highway speeds, 70, 75 miles an hour, and as your skills progress, you can take those longer trips out of town. Now the one issue I did have with this is the shift lever and the gearbox. Take a look down here. The shifts on this were clunky, they were vague. I really had to pay attention to what my left foot was doing. It wasn't the real tight snip snip I was expecting from this transmission. Now that, coupled with the throttle response, could cause concern for new riders. The throttle response on this in lower RPM range is very leaned out. It kind of stumbles on itself. And look at this. There's a very on-off feel to the throttle. And if you're not careful, it can be disconcerting. So something I definitely keep in mind. Now, as far as stopping is concerned, KTM does a great job. That you're going to use by Bree brakes. This is a company made by Brembo. And check out those calipers up front. This is going to set itself apart from other bikes in the 300cc class because you're looking at four piston radial mounted calibers. All the other bikes are going to use two piston calibers with a traditional mount. So the KTM is going to give you a bigger brake feel. Now, where I feel like KTM didn't complete the job, however, was with the levers on this. The brake lever and the clutch lever, they're cheap, they're chintzy, they move around and they don't complete the good feel and good feedback that I was expecting from these brakes. Now, as far as the overall handling on this bike is concerned, this thing handles like it's on rails. For a $5,000 300cc beginner bike, the handling really does excel. Check out those front forks. These are massive 43 millimeter shocks, WP suspension in the front, telescopic fork. This is gonna be a really great setup. And in the rear, I've got 10 positions of preload out of a single rear shock. For someone like myself, I'm 210 pounds, I'm still able to fine tune this and really hit the curves with ease. Now, with any bike, there's gonna be some good, some bad, there's always gonna be some warts. And it's important to remember as a new rider, for most of these situations, there's gonna be modifications that you can make to really fine tune the bike to your riding style and make it just a little bit better. So let's head back to the garage and discuss some of the modifications you can make if you're planning on adding the KTM 390 as your first bike. While your first motorcycle is going to provide you with a vessel for which to learn to ride, it's also going to provide you with a platform to learn your basic maintenance adjustments. So by learning things like oil changes and how to adjust your own chain, you can save yourself money and you can also learn basic skills that you can carry with you for every motorcycle that you own in the future. So the first thing I'd recommend for you is investing in a solid set of basic tools. What you're going to need is some wrenches, some screwdrivers, and some sockets to really perform all the basic adjustments associated with this motorcycle. And then as you need specialty tools, you can add them to your toolbox. So one of the things that KTM did with this 390 that I really like is they gave me an owner's manual that gave me troubleshooting tips and it also walked me through some of the basic maintenances. For example, that shift lever that we talked about earlier, it talked about how to adjust it. I was able to fine tune the lever for my foot and while I wasn't able to completely eliminate the clunky feel, I was able to give myself a much better performance because it matched up with my tail box. Now, as far as some modifications to make, first and foremost, these levers, they have to go. So I gave the guys over at Solid Performance, our local KTM shop, a call, and what they recommended was the KTM Performance Adjustable Levers. I threw a set on, it was like night and day. Better feel, better feedback, and the adjusters on them really worked well to give me a longer throw for my longer fingers. Now, if I wanted to make more of a major adjustment to this, I would definitely consider a fuel mapping device. And this is not to add power, but to give me better fueling in that lower RPM range to eliminate some of that stumbling. This is gonna give you a much more confident ride, especially as a beginner motorcyclist. Now finally, if I was gonna keep this bike any longer than the 10 days that I've already had it, I need some kind of storage. I would go ahead and add a Krieger US 20 to the back 
I use a US 20 on all of my bikes currently, and it gives me great mobility for getting to and from work for commuting while keeping everything inside nice and waterproof. Now, if you have any questions that I haven't answered here, click the info button, head over to Common Tread, and read my detailed article on the KTM 390 Duke where I get into all the down and dirty facts that I simply just didn't have time to answer in this video. If you still have questions, or if you want to weigh in with your opinion, please do so in the comment section below. And remember to subscribe to us on YouTube so you can follow along and get all the updates for all the new bike reviews that we have rolling out. Thank you for joining us for this look at the KTM 390 Duke. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.